Hi, Wrightsville kids. I'm Pastor Julia, and today I have a special message for you. Today, I want you, ima you to imagine that this uh, sort of box thing, jar, is your life. And uh, you can fill it up with anything you want to fill it with. So what sorts of things might go in? Well, maybe let's start with um, going to a sports practice. Or maybe spending time with your friends or maybe playing a video game. Um, what else might you do? Uh, maybe watching movies or, or um, doing some kind of fun extracurricular activity after school. And then you have some other things that uh, you know are really important like spending time with your family or going to school. Or maybe you go and uh, make sure you are making really good friends. Well, once you have all those things in there, you might, you might think, you know, I think I'd like to have a relationship with God. I think I want to do some things uh, to get closer to God. So what sorts of things might you do? Well, maybe you decide um, to read, read a Bible, read a scripture sometimes. Maybe uh, you want to come to church and uh, worship God with other people. Let's see. Kind of hard to get it in here. Um, and then maybe you want to serve others because God wants us to serve others. And then probably we want to pray. But there's, there's no more room. I can't, I can't fit it in here. There isn't room to do all those things. Hmm. You know, I think I have an idea. Let's, let's take all of this out. Let's get our important things out of here. It's all just going to get kind of mixed together, but that's okay. Now I wonder what would happen if we started with these things that we know God wants us to do. So we read our Bible and we came to church to worship and we served other people who needed help and, um, and we prayed. Well, those all fit. But I wonder would, what about all these things? So, you know, let's try and put those back in there. Oh, it's looking good so far. Wow. That's amazing. We got all of it in there, and there's still even a little bit of room at the top. You know, when you start off by putting the most important things in your life first, it works out that then there's room for everything. So today, I hope that you remember to start off by putting God first. Start off with God as your first priority, doing those things that you know can help you to be closer to God. And then there's still room for everything else. There's still room to go to school, to be with your family, to hang out with friends. There's probably even some time in there to, to read books and play video games. But what matters is that we put God first. Let's pray. Jesus, we love you so much. Please help us to put you first. Help us to trust that there will be room for everything if we choose to put you first. We love you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.